how do we make a mural? Is first you do a study, a presentation study. This is the actual study for the mural in front of the Museum of Art. The mural in front of the Museum of Art was a performance piece. Originally, it was never designed to actually stay beyond three months. It was part of a national exhibition called CARA, Chicano Art Resistance and Affirmation. It was a national exhibit. We were asked to do a mural in, in, in performance for that exhibit. So we were asked to give an illustration. This is my illustration for the right half of the mural, which is kind of a layout to show you what, what was going to go on in the, the work. So it's a scaled down drawing, which is called a study. And so uh, what, what occurred, though, when the mural was, was being painted, we had so much attention, so much success, that a decision was made to keep, keep the mural up. Unfortunately, because of the construction of the units, which are on wood, they wasn't designed to really uh, remain that long. And so we now have a dilemma where the deterioration and the, 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 the mural is really deteriorating. It needs to be relocated. But uh, it has, stay, has remained uh, 19, almost 19 years now. So from three months to 19 years was, was quite, of a, quite a long path for, for the mural to remain. So this is the illustration of that particular mural that you see in front of the museum. The process itself is the whole mural was painted on site. It required the assembly of a three layer scaffolding and basically working from the top section of the right corner going toward the center. It began in uh, November, December of 91, but the actual painting didn't start till January during the cold weather of 92. We had to uh, wait till there was some, some daylight on the wall to kind of get some, some warmth from the panels because of the cold. And basically, we had good weather that year of 92. I was able to really get some decent weather during January and February. As the show opened in February, most of the mural was already being laid out. So as the national exhibit opened, Gara, people were not only was, was witness to a, a national exhibit, but also witness to an actual ongoing mural. It required the grading of the actual panels, which were approximately 16 by 60 square feet, 16 high, 60 across, and uh, the whole area had to be gridded. The process itself was, is a dry technique, meaning uh, it's like a sandwich technique. You have the primer, you have the base coat, you have the wash coat, then you have the actual mixing of the paint on site. The paint itself is called Politec acrylic. It's a water-based acrylic, also working with a sealer, what's called a polyurethane for treatment. So it's a sandwich technique. It's a very quick technique. You really have to be on top of it to cover it, I was covering approximately uh, anywhere from uh, 20 to 40 square feet a day. After the pattern, what was called the cartoon layout, was transferred to the panels themselves, I began then what's called a color wash layout the back base colors of, of the background and building up the colors as they proceeded on the panels. This required approximately a period of two month period of, of getting up early in the morning, six in the morning, getting the scaffolds assem assembled and by eight, eight o'clock having the paint ready and things assembled. As soon as first light came out, the, the paint itself began. 
and it required uh, anywhere from six to ten hours a day for a period of two months. As, as you witness this event, as we all witness, the birth, the growth, the expectation of only a three-month performance to a 19-year icon, which brought many people to the museum, which was really a national voice about art, about our heritage, about our culture, the importance of murals themselves being very much a part of that. We now see what's called remnants, elements of the murals that have been cut, that are going to be sold to those that acquire it, is the acquisition of children. I'm very proud of this because it's going to continue to raise funds for the community uh, to give back. It, but it also is a part of history. It's an opportunity for those to retain a part of history of, of, of Tucson, of the mural, and uh, that it continues to give to, to the many people that had many celebrations there in front of the mural, weddings, uh, cultural events. Uh, art events, performances, it was a landmark and it still continues to be a landmark for, for Tucson. I ask each one of you to remember that art is a catalyst, it's a voice, it's the very essence of humanity. It is very much a part of who we are as a people. It's beyond culture. It's the very human tapestry of this planet. And as we face very exciting times, the beginning of a new end, but the ending for a new beginning. Thank you for this moment. Since his first public work in 1976, Taneo has painted more than 80 murals and created another 120 with members of neighborhood associations, youth programs, and school children. Perhaps his best known artwork is this one, Nuestras Raices Humanas, Our Roots, painted in collaboration with Antonio Passos in 1992. This monumental painting hung in the Plaza of Pioneers at the Tucson Museum of Art for 19 years. It features images of Aztec and Mayan myths, key figures and scenes from the Mexican Revolution, and the struggle of farm workers in the Southwest. That was and is Taneo's commitment to the Chicano movement.